Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Illustrator and we are going to be working with shapes in Adobe Illustrator. So within Adobe Illustrator you have all kinds of different shapes that you can make from the shape tool provided to you. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the tips and tricks when working in Illustrator on how to customize those shapes and make them the way you want them. So the first thing that we're going to do is you can look here at all of the different shapes provided to you within Illustrator. We have our rectangle, we have our rounded rectangle, our ellipse tool, our polygon tool, and star tool. And you can see here I have edited a few of these to be custom shapes. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that within Adobe Illustrator. Now the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to select all of these shapes that I have drawn out here and I'm going to delete them. So let's go ahead and go over to our shape tool which is right here and it probably will be set on the rectangle tool so click on the shape tool there and select your rectangle tool once you have that selected you can click and hold and drag out and as you see here the rectangle is being drawn now if you want to draw a perfect square you just hold down shift and then click and hold and whatever you draw now will be a perfect four cornered square okay so you do that by holding down the shift key and dragging and you will then draw out a perfect square now I'm going to go ahead and move that square out of our way here and let's go ahead and click and hold on the shape tool and go on down to our rounded rectangle tool now when you click and hold you see here the rectangle is rounded but in order to adjust how rounded it is, go ahead as you're holding and select or click the down or up arrows. The down arrows will make the edges more jagged and the up arrow will make them more curved. So as you see here, I'm pushing the up arrow and it's becoming more of a rounded edge. So I'm going to let go there and I now have a nice rounded rectangle. Now I'm going to change the fill color of this shape by going right up here in the top left corner, corner and changing it to a nice light green color. Once you've done that, let's move on to our ellipse tool. Uh, again, you can hold shift and drag and draw out a perfect circle just like that or do not hold shift and you can draw somewhat of an oval shape. So again, just hold down the shift key while you are dragging and you will now have a perfect circle. Uh, so I want to change the fill color of that circle as well and I can do that by going up in the top left hand corner once again and changing that color to a yellow. Now I'm going to go ahead and move that circle out of the way here, put it right there, and I'm going to now hover over my uh, shape tool once more and I'm going to go down to the polygon tool. Now there are a few neat things you can do within the polygon tool. If you click and hold and drag out, it will automatically have a certain number of uh, angles on it or points. Now if I click the up arrow it will add points. If I click the down arrow it will remove points. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the up arrow and as you see I've added four or five points to my polygon. It is no longer a polygon. So I'm going to go ahead and change the fill color of that as well. So I'm going to move it out of our way over here and change the fill color of that to a brown color. Next I'm going to click and hold on our shape tool and last I'm going to show you the star tool. With the star tool selected you once again can do the same thing you did with the polygon shape. You can click and hold and if you hit the down arrow while you are holding you actually remove points and if you hit the up arrow you add points. So if you want to have a nice asterisk looking object you can add a whole bunch of points and as you see here it's giving me a star shape with all kinds of points. And I'm going to change the fill color of that to a red color. Now also, one more trick while working with shapes within Illustrator that you can do is you can go and let's go ahead and draw out a rectangle and as you are drawing it, you can actually hold the space bar and move it around the screen, okay? So while I'm still holding down on my mouse, I can hold down on the space bar and I can move the object around on my screen and decide where I want to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it there. So guys, that's a little bit about working with shapes within Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comment box below. If this video helped you out, go ahead and click on the thumbs up button below and like this video. And guys, 
Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials on Illustrator and all other different types of programs. And guys, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you next time.